What's up guys? It's your girl Brit Jokes. Welcome back to my channel! As you can see, I am very eager right now because it is time to get these nails done. Girl, I am missing a whole nail right here. <laughs> My nails are lifted, they're cracked, they're ratchet. So you already know the deal. I'm looking for the worst nail salon that I can find. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to head over to my Instagram and give me a follow. I'm gonna be doing a huge giveaway once my Instagram hits 5,000 followers. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the comments, also in my description, so you guys can follow me. I'll be giving you guys more details on this giveaway as we get closer to that number. So I used my good old pal, Yelp. And of course, I came across so many bad nail salons. So there's this one that really stood out to me. I'm gonna read you guys a few of the reviews from this place. Horrible experience getting my nails done today. One of the ladies was singing karaoke off of her phone and a microphone at the top of her lungs for seven songs. <laughs> and look, there's a whole picture, like there's actually proof that this happened. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that lady legit has a microphone in her hand. <laughs> Apparently this place runs a karaoke bar because there's been several people that have complained about this karaoke situation. One person said, I walked into a karaoke session. My manicurist was the singer. <laughs> Another person said, constant singing like if it was an audition. And then one more person said the employees were more interested in doing karaoke than working. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I love karaoke. I actually do it at my house like every weekend. I wouldn't mind getting my nails done while having a karaoke session. That actually sounds pretty fun. Like I would legit join them in this karaoke session, but that is hilarious. Like the fact that there's so many people that have complained about this, this is obviously a pretty common issue <laughs> and clearly they don't care. They keep doing their thing. So <laughs> anyways, it is dirty and ghetto. The nail tech brought over a towel to place under my feet with someone else's toe jam, dead skin, and nail clippings already on the towel. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, what? <laughs> that is ghetto. I'm sorry, but if I see someone's toe jam and dead skin and all that, I'm calling my lawyers, I'm calling my doctors, I'm calling the FBI and the CIA on you. <laughs> That is so gross. <laughs> Worst place ever. The clippers were not sanitized properly. A week later, I got an infected nail. Here I am one month and a half at the hospital. My whole nail removed. I have a bill of $1,900 due, all because of their irresponsible and unsanitary actions. Wow. And look at this picture, guys. Like, this lady is legit at a hospital. That is scary. Like, okay, all jokes aside, <laughs> that is not okay. My heart goes out to that lady. I hope she's okay. What about that hospital bill, though? That is ridiculous. All right, guys. So, as you can see, this nail salon sounds pretty interesting. You got karaoke, you got people going to the hospital, and you got toe jam and dead skin on towels. So, <laughs> looks like we're gonna have a great time. This is the picture I'm gonna be showing them. Hopefully they can do these nails. Let's go check it out. Okay, this is definitely a sketchy entrance. Um, but whatever, let's go ahead. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this the entrance? What is going on here? I'm lost. Um... <laughs> okay guys, I think I went the wrong way. I'm gonna see if the entrance is on the other side because I am confused and that was super sketchy. Hi 
Okay. Mm, full set. Huh? Yeah, I'll Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Ah, the ghetto! The ghetto! The ghetto! So you guys have no acrylic uh, nail, like nothing. Like what? Like this is gel polish. Do you have like any other options? Dip. Gel powder. Like just this nail polish. This is gel. This is gel polish. But not like the nail polish. Regular. We don't go regular. Yeah, because we cannot let people sit down here inside way too long. Okay. You have to go. That's it. So that's why we can take a lot of chair for a customer to sit down. Yeah, that's why I understand. Do you sing karaoke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Vietnamese song. I love karaoke. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk about these nails really quick. This is what I ended up getting. Honestly, I think she did a pretty good job with the design. I mean, even though it doesn't look exactly like the picture, it's still really nice. I really like how they came out. I love the colors. It's more of like the bootlegged version of the Burberry nails. <laughs> Honestly, the nail salon seemed pretty normal. I didn't catch anything too out of the ordinary. Obviously, there were little things here and there, but nothing to really make it a worse reviewed nail salon. I feel like because of the virus, these nail salons have stepped up their game. I've noticed that they've been a lot cleaner and just quicker and much better service, honestly. In the beginning, it was kind of scary because I, I don't know why my GPS told me to go to the other side, I was like, okay, I really hope this is not the entrance to the nail salon because I don't know how I feel about this. It looked really sketchy, but it was just a mistake. I ended up trying to get through the back. So yeah, guys, that was my experience. Nothing too crazy. I was hoping to walk into the middle of a karaoke session, but I guess not today. <laughs> I would have been so down to sing. Girl, don't even get me started. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one.